That is the ugliest costume I have ever seen. I want to have a word with you and your wife. Forget about it. Go haunt somebody else. I plan on doing that exactly. After I've had my say here. Thank you. And uh, tell him. Carla, you're going to have to leave. I got a kid in here. You're going to scare her. You're going to traumatize her for life. Don't let him in. How dare you show your face after you try to take my little girl? I'm glad Alex fooled you with her pregnancy, gave you a little taste of everything you put me through. I just wish she'd done worse. I know you blame me for Little Star's kidnapping, but I swear on the memory of my dead son, Johnny. I am not the man who put you through those harrowing days. Well, there you go. Carlo has his word as gold, you know that. I'm sure you know that if I wanted to send a message, Mrs. Manning, I would leave no doubt as to the author. When I want to send a message, I believe in delivering it myself. That's exactly why I'm here. Please, may I come in? No. I'm Take sorry. the kid upstairs. No. Blair, go. Come on. Now. Bring the bug spray when you come back down. You have a way with words, Mr. Manning. What are you doing here, Carlo? What do you want? Those who know when to fight and when not to fight, Todd, are victorious. Don't waste your venom. It's my venom. I'll do what I want with it. Now I asked you a question. What do you want? For you to change your manner, your tone, and your editorial policies. Oh, is that all? Yes. Unless, of course, you want to count yourself among the unfortunates who have ever made me angry. What are you doing here? Isn't it getting a little late for you, Carlo? I mean, you know how unreliable babysitters are these days. Wouldn't want your pillow to be in unsafe hands. I'd I'd hate to hear about some six-dollar-an-hour psycho teenager suffocating your pillow with, say, a baby. <laughs> oh, come on. You know I respect you. What? I do, I do. I mean, what? not every guy would adopt an illegitimate pillow and love it and raise it like it was his own. <laughs> Are you finished? No, I'm not finished. Look, Carlo, you're going to walk around town with this fuzzy little bundle of joy strapped to your chest. People are going to tease you. Never mind that Alex is the kid's mother. I mean, you may think that Alex is a fit parent for a pillow, but I've always thought she was an evil little cheesehead. Now? Yeah. Yeah, I'm done now. Enough with the pillow talk. Just say whatever you have to say, Carlo, and leave. Thank you. Laugh as much as you would like about my misfortune in trusting Alex. But despite my minor setback, I am closer than ever to achieving my lifetime goals. And in light of that, I'm here to make you an offer. To back a winner. And benefit from all that it yields. Carlo, it's, it's getting late. I have worldwide connections. And if you have ambitions to blossom into a media empire, and I am certain that you have those very ambitions. I can give you a leg up. Oh, Mrs. Manning, I'm sure you remember how well the son and I fared uh, during our uh, previous association. Oh, I, that was before I realized that everything everyone said about you was true, that you are Poseidon, <laughs> that you shot Todd and left him as dead in Ireland. Oh. And for a whole year, I went through torture believing that he really was dead. No, 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 no. no. Uh, Poseidon, again? Now, now, think about this, Mrs. Manning. If I were this Poseidon fellow, why be angry at me? Poseidon did not have any intent to shoot Todd. Now, from everything that I gather, he was after this Patrick Thornhart. Why vilify me just because Poseidon's men were fooled by Todd's appearance? Uh, and aside from all of that, the trivial fact that I am not Poseidon. It really is. Why be enemies 
when we could be such formidable partners. No one has ever suffered from an association with me. And you would not be the exception. So you're offering me some kind of a invitation, that's what you'd call it, right? To be your formidable partner. Is that it? I enjoy a great deal of power. Oh yeah, I bet you do. It's not every guy who can sire a pillow. So what do I have to do to be your partner? Pull a sword out of a rock? No. Rethink the son's editorial position on me. Oh, you've got a lot of nerve, Carlo. First you steal my little girl, our little girl. Now, look, you come you over to my home. Nothing to do with your you baby's wear. kidnapping. Fine, that's your story, and you stick with that. For now, let's just go over this offer. Now, you want me to make a deal with a guy who had me shot in the back, stuffed into the trunk of a car, and pushed off a really, really, really high cliff. You want to help me so that I can help you? Well, forget about it. I wouldn't help you lift your dog's leg over a fire hydrant. Uh, just... No, 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 I got him on the ropes now. Must be if he's come here to, to pay me off, to keep the press off his back. You know what, I, I just thought of tomorrow's headline. Pillow's Papa Cries Uncle. What, you got a problem with that? Cassie, just go. No questions, just go. Please. Mickey. You've made a grave error. And you, Mrs. Manning, are you of the same mind as your husband? Yes, I am. We're in complete agreement. And I swear to God, Carlo, if you ever try anything like that... If I were to try anything, I assure you, you wouldn't even hear it coming. I neither forgive nor forget. Yeah, well, I don't forgive or forget either. And as far as I'm concerned, you're Poseidon. You've already killed me once, so what are you gonna do now that's gonna scare me? You know what? I think you better go. Just go. And do me a favor, will you? Will you explain to me what the hell kind of a name is Poseidon? I mean, if you're gonna name yourself after some kind of Greek or Roman freak show, why not something more appropriate, like, uh, like Pluto? Or better yet, Uranus. I'm gonna need to see those advertising revenues today, okay? And get them to me now, don't just tell me you're gonna and then not. And give me breaks. I need to make some changes for tomorrow's front page. Major changes. Briggs, you're not doing your job. So, did you finally stop crying? Huh? Yeah? Do you hear your daddy talking on the phone over there? <laughs> you recognize his voice? Yeah. It's your daddy over there talking. Your daddy, he's, uh, he's taking some, uh, a big chance, yeah. And I can't tell him that I'm not going to stand beside him. <sighs> but when Carlo took you, oh, sweetie, if he ever did anything like that again or worse, I... You know what I got to do? I just got to talk to your daddy, that's all. I just got to talk to him. I've got to... I've got to make him see that, that we got you now. That we got you. <laughs> we just got to play it safe, don't we? We got to play it safe, little girl. Oh, yes, we do. We got to play it safe. Cassie, take your mother and get out of I here. I say goes. Fine, here goes. Pillow Papa pursues press ploy. Yeah, and, and play up that stuff about him coming here and threatening.